Hey, hey, happy people. So today we are going to make a pesto <laughs> Today we are going to make a pesto spaghetti squash casserole. So <clears throat> y'all know me, we gotta get started here. Now, in this bowl here, I do have my spaghetti squash. It is already cooked. Um, this is about four and a half pounds. Uh, I had two spaghetti squash. They were both a little over two pounds. So about four and a half pounds here. I literally just cut them in half, uh, sprayed them with some grapeseed oil and a little bit of salt, face down on a baking sheet in the oven for 100 for about 30 to 45 minutes until it was done. So you could basically just flake out the strings. That is all I did to it. It just happened to be pre-cooked and in this bowl because I cooked it yesterday because I was going to do this video yesterday. But I got caught up and did something else. So it's been in the refrigerator so mine is cold. If you are using this fresh, you won't need as much oil as I'm going to put in this. But because mine is cold out of the refrigerator, I'm going to put a little more oil so all my seasonings will mix in well. <clears throat> Alright, so four and a half cups, uh, I mean four and a half pounds of spaghetti squash cooked. All right, and then I have some uh, avocado oil here. This is about two tablespoons. And I'm just going to add that first because I want to be able to uh, separate the strings of my, uh, I may need a little bit more. Okay. Alright, and then I got here a little seasoning. This is some um, sea salt and this is my alkaline black pepper. I do have a video on that already. It's basically dried arugula and dried papaya seeds mixed together. So, I'm going to just sprinkle some of both in here. About a teaspoon of that. And a couple of pinches of the black pepper. Next, I have a whole white onion. This is one whole white onion. It was a medium sized onion. I'm going to add that in there. And I forgot one thing, but we'll come back to that. Alright, and I got some uh, baby bella mushrooms here. This is about 12, yeah, this is 12 ounces of the baby bella mushrooms. And I forgot to cut them up. So, let me cut them up right quick, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I have cut up my mushrooms there on top there. I am going to add a half a cup of veggie broth again just to loosen up my uh, spaghetti squash because it was cold. And we're just going to mix this all together without wasting it. That's going to be my key here, not wasting it. I definitely need a bigger bowl. I'm trying to be smart and make some extra so I can put some in the freezer. <laughs> to have for prep already but you know what to make this much easier what I'm gonna do right now all right so I got a baking pan here this is a large one it has a little grapeseed oil in there I'm just gonna cover my sides this will keep your squash from sticking all right now I'm just gonna throw this in there because I'm having a hard time right Not the way I anticipated this to go, but we gonna work with it. All right, so just kind of mix your spaghetti squash again. This won't be as hard if you're using fresh sp fresh spaghetti squash right out of the oven because it will separate much easier. But because again, mine is cold, it was in the refrigerator. So I'm just gonna mix it up in the pan here. I have too much for this pan, so I might have to make a second pan. Or just put the rest of that in the uh, freezer. That'll probably be my best bet. Alright, so I got that pan down there. The rest of this is going to go in the freezer because I tried to be smart, make some extra, 
I have an extra pan to go in the freezer, but I don't have enough space. So, a couple of extra mushrooms there. Alright, so our first layer is already done there. Now, we have to make our pesto. So, I have a food processor here. And we're going to make our pesto. In this cup here, I have two cups of fresh basil. And we're going to add that to the fruit processor. I have two cups of fresh cilantro that is also going in. Mr. Stay Happy's Mint's Alkaline Garlic. Uh, you can pick that up at MrStayHappy.com. I also have about a fourth of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes in here with this too. So we're going to add both of those. I have a fourth of an onion. It's really not that much. We're going to cut that. Stick that in there. Just because I like onion, you don't have to add this to your pesto. I have a half cup of walnut pieces. These are raw walnut pieces. I have not soaked them. They are just raw. What else would it all say? Just raw. <laughs> Alright. Now, we have some nutritional yeast. This is again Mr. Stay Happy's Alkaline Nutritional Yeast. This is the substitute for a regular nutritional yeast. And this is a fourth. I'll run the ingredients right here. A half a cup. I was going to say a fourth of a cup. And I got here some lime juice. This is actually key lime today. And we're going to put a little bit of sea salt pinch there couple of pinches and one pinch of the alkaline black pepper. Now we're going to close this up and we're going to blitz this down. I do have here some grapeseed oil as uh, it's going down here. I'm going to add the grapeseed oil as we go here. Alright, here we go. You want a thin layer, not too much. Your pesto is kind of strong, so you don't need a really thick layer. Alright, so our pesto is on now. So now we have to add our tomatoes. I got some Roma tomatoes here. All we're going to do is just cut some of these bad boys into circles and just layer them on top. are finished now with the tomatoes we got one more thing all right so this is the alkaline parmesan uh, sprinkles again this is at mrstayhappy.com but there is plenty of uh, alkaline parmesan sprinkle recipes out there like you can look I think I made one yeah I made a video on that so add your parmesan sprinkles you don't have to this is just extra but a little bit of sprinkles
Alright, and there we go. That's what we look like there. Now, this is going to go in the oven. My oven is preheated already to 375. I'm going to let this go for about 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. I just want everything to heat up. Again, because my spaghetti squash was cold, it's probably going to take me a little longer. But if yours was not cold, you used the uh, right baking it, then it's probably not even going to be a good 15-20 uh, minutes. But mine is going to go about 20-30 minutes. But then after that, once I know everything is all heated up, I'm going to turn my oven on broil, put this under the broil so I can get just a little more color on top. Alright, so be back in about 30 minutes or so. Alright people, it has been 30 minutes. My uh, casserole has baked here. My parmesan has got a little darker because of the broiling on top. And we are all done. So now, I just got, it's too hot for me to pick up and put in the camera like I usually do. Y'all just gonna have to see the pictures afterwards. That's all I can say. We're gonna get us a small little bit here. come off like I had planned. I wanted it, should I say. Woo, hot. So hot. <laughs> Alright, so, a little bit of there that don't look like it should look, but try not to flip it over. <laughs> Alright, so, get me all mixed up here. Here we go. Oh yeah. Definitely a comfort move, comfort meal for those cold days. This is definitely gonna work out. Mm-hmm. That is good. So good. Alright, so now we're all done. We've made an alkaline version of the uh, pesto spaghetti squash casserole. Um, that is it. Like I said, if you are a cook making it with fresh uh, spaghetti squash, you just took out of the oven, you won't need as much oil or as much veggie broth. But if you're doing cold, you're definitely going to need some. And don't overdo your bowl. Don't do like I did. Had all that in one bowl and then I had to separate it. I put the rest in the freezer. So it would be easy to take out and cook on a weeknight when I don't feel like cooking. Like I've had a long day at work and I ain't trying to do all that. So, this would be very good for taking to, uh, again, I always say taking to potlucks and things like that. Entertaining people. Very nice dish. People I think will enjoy it. Unless they just don't like spaghetti squash. That would probably be their main problem. Or tomatoes um but that is it people and until the next video stay happy Uh-huh.